Symptoms. Many kidneys found hydronephrotic post-mortem give no symptoms during life. The one characteristic symptom by which attention is called to the kidney is the presence of a tumor. There are clinically two varieties of hydronephrosis. When the tumor is constant, the hydronephrosis is spoken of as fixed. When the tumor varies in size, the hydronephrosis is said to be intermittent. Fixed hydronephrosis. When the hydronephrosis is fixed, the patient usually gives a history of a slowly growing tumor in his side, or soreness and pain may first call attention to the kidney. But as a rule, unless the kidney is misplaced and adherent, fixed hydronephrosis is uncomfortable rather than painful. The tumor grows very slowly. It may burst either into the peritoneal cavity or into the perirenal space. Either event is rare. See Babitsky. On examination of a smooth, elastic, fairly movable, and as a rule, insensitive tumor is found filling the side. The absence of systemic disturbance is remarkable. There is no fever, and unless both kidneys are affected, no evidence of renal insufficiency. Intermittent hydronephrosis. This condition presents an entirely different picture. The trouble begins with irregular attacks of severe pain in the side. These pains are habitually attributed to the intestines, to hysteria, or to renal colic. When the patient is examined between attacks, the discovery of a movable and tender kidney confirms the diagnosis of hysteria. And if the patient becomes thin and anemic and has flushes of watery urine, this only adds color to the picture. But affairs go from bad to worse. The attacks of pain become more and more severe, they recur every few days. During the attack, the distended kidney may be felt filling the entire loin. The pain, after lasting several hours or days, is suddenly relieved by the passage of a large quantity of urine. But the relief is only temporary. At the end of the usual interval, the pain recurs. In a personal case, the pains began 20 years before the tumor was found, while in another, the tumor reached enormous dimensions after less than 10 years growth. Hematuria is an unusual but striking feature of some cases. The hemorrhage may be repeated and profuse. Morris justly remarks that not all these cases are due to renal mobility and cites instances attributed to stone and to vesicle papilloma. Yet Terrier and Baudolin who collected 83 reported cases, showed that the condition was almost always associated with nephrotosis. The usual outcome of an intermittent hydronephrosis is that it becomes fixed. The variations in size decrease and the pain becomes more constant and less severe.